Some clerics have defied government bans to establish their own courts to decide divorce cases, child custody issues and financial disputes. Brian Seymour reports that's just the start, as Muslim leaders call for traditional Islamic law to be fully adopted in Australia. What do you think of um, Sharia law? Of you... course, Sharia law good. In terms of what? Physical? Or... Ah, hitting you, hitting you. He has hit me in the past, yes. Hmm? He has hit me. He has hit me once. Once only. Yeah. Only once, huh? So once. it means it's not a very serious not... matter. Do you follow Sharia law? Yes. Um, is Sharia law number one or is Australian law number one? Which comes first? Sharia law. Sharia law comes first. All right, thank you. Allah is God, is God, is God. He swears that he doesn't mean divorce. So if he swears that he doesn't mean divorce, so it is not a divorce. Which one comes first? For me as a Muslim, Sharia law comes first. If you say Rajatu, okay, it means that you have divorced her. Look, I think what we're getting is Sharia law by stealth. This story is about law, not religion, and the conflict when the two collide. Sharia law is being practiced across Australia. In every capital city, sheikhs are dispensing Islamic justice. We arranged to meet one of them, a sheikh in Sydney's west who presides over hundreds of Sharia divorces each year and adjudicates on financial disputes. At the last minute, he cancelled. So I showed up at his Islamic bookshop anyway. This is Islamic State become, if you want to hear it in this way. Australia, this is, this Australia is basically Islam. is already an Islamic this State. This is Islam. Islam is to live your, your life in, freedom. In, a, in a happy way, in justice. Sheikh Musa Lege offers Muslims Sharia law from his base at the Islamic Welfare Centre at Lakemba in Sydney's west. When you have many women that are having their babies out of the marriage, some people they would say we need something to find solutions. It's terribly disempowering of women uh, and, and very destructive of our social fabric for that reason. Sheikh Legay says he believes Australian law does rule our land, though like his predecessor, he does feel there is room for men to have multiple wives. Polygamy. That's well, what he was asking for. Well, the problem is with this 13% extra women in Australia, so you agree we should uh, allow polygamy in Australia? I'm not, I don't call for it, but I call the Australian law to give the, hum, the woman rights uh, not uh, to find a man, like when you have yeah. more men less than a so woman. So you're able to marry a man who's already married? Well, how can we find uh, extra men? I think it's seditious because it undermines Australian law and really if we're going to have separate laws and separate societies, we can only expect to have more division and more lawlessness. Vicky Jansen and her husband Michael live in the Melbourne suburb of Heidelberg West. They joined a community group named the Q Society, aimed at stopping what they call the Islamification of Australia. It's the way we're to be treated. We tr are truly treated as second-class citizens. Uh, under anything to do with Islamic law, women are not treated equally, non-Muslims are not treated equally. Sharia law and Australian law, it mm. will be a little bit contradictory. Should we have Sharia law in, 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 in Perth, in Sydney? Yeah. Yeah, you reckon, yeah? We should have Sharia law. That's the issue causing concern and division. Can Sharia law coexist with Australian law so that we still have one law for all? And can we guarantee that Sharia law will not affect non-Muslims? Well, the answer appears to be probably not. There doesn't seem to be a diet sharia or a sharia light version over the long term. At least that's the experience overseas. I swear, I swear by Allah, by Allah that, that I did not, that I did not mean and intend. In Britain, Islamic courts like this one have operated for nearly four years under the Arbitration Act. Their rulings are legally binding. I swear by Allah. I swear by Allah. The anger of Allah will come upon me if I am lying. And the anger will come upon me if Allah. If, if I'm lying. If I am lying. A recent report found women's rights are being trampled in these courts. Under Sharia law, a woman's testimony is worth half a man's. A daughter can only inherit half as much as a son. Guardianship of children automatically goes to the father at a preset age. Men can summarily divorce their wife. 
women must fight for a divorce, even if her husband is abusive. And on and on it goes. This is just core to Sharia law, is the second class citizenship of women. Women are lesser human beings. And so that is essentially my problem with it. And I think that should scare every Australian. News Limited columnist Miranda Devine queries whether we can adopt only some aspects of Sharia law and then stop. Sharia by stealth is really the way it's happening at the moment and already you have you know Islamic finance um, starting there's talk of changing our tax laws. I think we are being hostage, held hostage by a uh, minor perspective, by a minor view, a minority view uh, among Muslims. Professor Sharam Akbarzadeh works at Melbourne University's National Centre of Excellence for Islamic Studies. For most Muslims Sharia simply refers to the spirit of Islam. It simply refers to the value system contained in Islam and Islamic teaching. If you are asking without any reason, you must be sinful. I want to do it um, the Islamic way. For me, that's the best way. What comes first, Sharia or Australian law? The Sharia is by, the, by God. By God. Yeah. That comes first. Of course. Brian Seymour reporting. We'd like to hear from you on this issue. Should Muslims in Australia be ruled by Islamic Sharia law? If you think they should, vote yes on 1902 558 770, or you can vote no by phoning 1902 558 771. Lines close at midnight tonight. You can also vote on our website. That's yahoo7.com.au forward slash today tonight. Now to America.